uh, on the governing board of Common Cause for, I don't know whether it was 15 or 16 years. Uh, and Joan was already on the board, uh, serving as the treasurer uh, before I got there, and she remained on the board uh, for a while after I left. She used to tell us on the board sometimes during meeting that she's not really a, a policy person. Uh, but I recall many times uh, over that 15 or 16 years when the board would engage in uh, very uh, heated, sometimes uh, always professional, but heated uh, disagreements over certain uh, policy issues uh, that the board was considering adopting as, as our policy. And uh, Joan would uh, always listen carefully, not say too much during the, um, the debates, um, but a lot of times things might get a little bit uh, emotional. Uh, and Joan almost always would step in at some point, um, say what she thought, and it would immediately um, kind of calm everybody down. She was uh, always a great listener, uh, very perceptive, and I thought a great decision maker in the end. She was, uh, I can't even tell you how uh, terrific she was. Um, Joan appears to be very serious, and, and she is serious in, when it's certainly appropriate, but she's a lot of fun too, and I had the uh, privilege of uh, experiencing that side of, of Joan as well. Uh, she's just uh, a great person, uh, smart, professional, polite to a fault, uh, generous with her time. Um, she's one of the people uh, that we all kind of take for granted in terms of public service. She doesn't run for office. She doesn't seek personal um, recognition or credit for anything. But she quietly serves hundreds and hundreds of hours doing uh, the good work that Common Cause does. Um, in exercising her skills and talents, particularly in the financial area. So uh, I was uh, truly flattered when I was asked to say a few words about Joan. Um, and I want to add that uh, I consider her a, a very a good personal friend of mine, and I'm privileged to be able to say that. And I hope uh, Joan feels the same way. But in terms of this award tonight, uh, I cannot think of a more deserving um, board member, former board member uh, of this award uh, than Joan. She, is, uh, a, she has set a standard uh, that I think will be very difficult for anyone else to, to meet and certainly to exceed. So, um, I'm Gray almost all my life. She and her family moved across the street from me when I was six years old. So I basically grew up with her and her family. Her daughter was my best friend growing up. And um, we maintained contact, the families, even though everybody moved away from Larson Street. I came into the organization shortly before Joan was ready to retire. And I uh, was recruited to come in and, and take over the treasurer's position from Joan, of which I was thrilled to be asked and thrilled to be following Joan. Uh, Joan, growing up, that was always the place that we hung out at her house. She showed incredible drive when uh, her kids were teenagers. She went back to school, got a degree, went on to a professional career, and provided service to various organizations throughout the many years. I'd just like to say she was a role model growing up for all of the um, professional advancements that she did, and she's certainly a role model for me as treasurer of Common Cause going forward. Probably my greatest challenge, and luckily, luckily it happened uh, when I was a little younger and maybe had more energy, was uh, when National was having a lot of turnover um, and changing, you know, changing the fiscal year and uh, changing the way the financials were ha uh, handled and the information. And um, we, as Rhode Island Common Cause, had done very well working hard to be as self-supportive as we possibly could. And we had built up uh, a nice uh, base. 
and National did not recognize it because of what was happening with their uh, financials. I fought hard, spoke to a lot of people there, and eventually we were credited with this uh, big carry forward that we really had worked hard to earn. And I think that that may have helped us through uh, a couple of bad years. Yeah, I felt really good about that. The biggest thing for me, frankly, is the people that I've met, really, over the years. I think it's very interesting. When I started out, I was probably, I was definitely not the oldest. I wasn't exactly the youngest, but I might have been close to that. And over the years, not only have I grown older, but the average age of the board members has become younger. And I think that's great. And when I see the earnestness and just the feeling that the board members have, uh, it makes me smile and it makes me feel very good and very happy that I've been a part of this organization. Fantastic. We'll make something out of that.